Hey everyone, this is Akash and I welcome you all to this channel. So friends, I will be posting this video tomorrow and tomorrow is Dashera. So happy Dashera in advance. So uh, in this video, we are going to solve this particular question that is deep clone. And I hope you all know what is deep clone in JavaScript. But just in case you don't know, uh, let me tell you. So friends, deep clone means to create a complete copy of an object, including all its nested objects as well. And and by doing this, what we do is we ensure that the changes that we are going to make to the cloned object, they do not affect the original one. It's a little bit different from shallow copy because in shallow copy, um, if we try to make any changes, uh, you know, in the cloned version and if the object is nested, then it might affect the original object as well. But in deep clone, it should not happen. So let's read out the question now. The question says that deep clone is not formally defined in javascript language specification but is generally well understood in the community okay a deep clone makes a copy of javascript value leading to completely new value that has no references pointing back to the properties in the original object if it's an object any changes made to the deep copied object will not affect the original object so the same thing that i told you just before now, what we have to do is we have to implement a deep clone function that performs a deep clone operation on JavaScript objects. And we can assume that input only contains JSON serializable values like null, boolean, number, string, array, and object. And it will not contain any such things like date, rejects, map, or set. So you must have noticed that how, how you create a, a deep clone, like you basically use json.pass and json.stringify, but that only works with json serializable values and it doesn't work with non json serializable values. Okay. So, in order to make it work, we normally use lodash deep copy or we use like structured clone. But in this particular case, we simply have to take this particular case into consideration. So, over here, this is a nested object. We have object inside one object. And when we do this particular deep clone, and when we try to modify the value of role to guest, it should not impact the original uh, like object. Cool. So this is the question that we have to do. Now, we have to complete this particular code. Let's get started. So I have this habit that before starting, I simply do this particular console.log to check what is the value that we are getting. So let's quickly do console.log and let's see what is the input that we are going to get. So we can get simple foo uh, object object something like this. Okay. One more thing friends over here there is no input case with the array in which we have the array inside the object but we have to take that particular case into consideration as well. What we can do is if we simply say that if uh, we do not have any value if the value is null basically or we can say if type of value equal equals to string similarly if we say that type of value is equal equals to number or type of value is equal equals to boolean so if this is the case we are simply going to return the value itself right we are going to return the value. It's not a part of an object. It's not an object. It's a primitive uh, data type. So we are going to return the uh, simple value that we are getting. Now, now let's handle the another case that is else if. Now, if we are going to do something like type of array, so it is going to give, give us object only. But how we can find if that particular thing is array? So for that, in JavaScript, we can simply do array dot is array. This is the method that we get. And if the value that we are getting is array, then what we can do, we can return a new reference for it. And how we can return a new reference by using map. So we are going to use the map and we are going to call this deep clone in this map on these particular values that we are iterating. And we are going to return it. Why we are going to return it? Because map creates a new array. That means we are going to get a new reference. So the link to our previous, like um, the original object will get will break over here now these two cases we have handled let's try to run if any case any test case works or not okay so with primitive values it's working but again with objects it's failing okay so the assertion is failing over here 
Now let's try to handle the case for objects. For objects, what we can do is we simply go inside this and now we are going to use the similar concepts to return a new reference as we have used over here map. We have written the new array reference. Now over here, we are going to return a new object reference. And in order to do that, I am going to simply take object dot keys so that we can get a uh, get an array. Okay. If this particular value is an object, we are going to get the array of keys. Now what we can do simply is run reduce on this. And inside this, let's have accumulator and key. Now simply what we can do is accumulator okay so let's pass the initial value as empty object now accumulator at key equals again we are going to call deep clone okay because we have to check like let's suppose this is the object then we don't know what is the value if value is object then again it should uh, the same piece of code should run for it if the value is array then this piece of code should run for it if the value is primitive then this particular piece of code should run for it so accumulator at key basically we are creating a new reference over here and we are simply going to pass the value that is value at key and finally don't forget to return the well uh, basically accumulator as well cool uh, let's clean this code up okay this is how it looks so let's try running it Okay, so it's still failing. Let's see why it's failing. Okay, got it. It's failing because it's returning, but over here we have not written. It's a recursion. So we have to return from here as well. Yes. So all our three test cases are passed. Cool. So friends, one more thing. Let's try to like uh, clean this code a little bit. What we can do is over here like in this particular place we can simply like delete this and in place of this we can simply say that if type of value is not equal equals to object right let's see if this works cool it's working another thing that we can do is okay so i can also give you an alternative to this so what we can do let's try to comment this thing and quickly i'm going to paste another code over here what we have done is we have simply taken one cloned object and using this foreign loop we are traversing our object okay let's remove this console now we are checking if value dot has on property that particular key then we are simply doing cloned object at key creating a new reference and calling our particular function recursively and finally returning this particular object the same thing that we have done over here here we have used reduce here we are using foreign loop let's try running this if this fails or passes yeah it passed so this is the alternative uh, that we can also use let me undo it cool so friends i hope you have learned something new in this video and if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe and do share support in the comment section as well thank you for watching and happy dashera